Hey guys, Michael here from Dapper Raptor, and I'm just going to go over the additions that are coming to Quest Map Pro with the 1.5 update. Now, 1.5 has been submitted to Epic and should hopefully be available in a couple of days, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, as always, it's really up to them and how much they have to get through. Uh, so there's a couple of bug fixes in 1.5. They are covered on the Discord, so I'm not going to go into them here, as always, there will be a written version of this video covering what bugs are fixed and so on. Um, the main new features that were added, though, is what I'm going to cover here. Now, the first one, I don't have a way to demonstrate in this project, um, but I did recently do a video showing how to set up vehicles to work well with uh, Quest Map Pro. I've gone ahead and simplified that process so that instead of having to go through that entire process, you can now just call this one here is so you can just drag off of a of, of the manager in your controller and click update possession and just tell it the new actor so that goes through and does all the camera update the player update and all that sort of thing for you um, the next thing is there is a now a list of fast travel locations that you can use as a widget in the demo here it is added to the world map screen so if I press M you can see I've got fast travel locations here, and if I wander over to the berry farm, where we have another one, we will see, actually I don't think we even need to go that far, I'm pretty sure the lookout tower here is configured to be a fast travel location. Yep, so now we can fast travel back home from the world map. Now as I said, this is a widget, you can place this anywhere in your UI, in the demo it's just here to make it quick and easy. Um, but obviously some games like Fallout and that, they have a separate section, I think anyway, um, that tells you where you can fast travel to. The next thing we have is magnetic disturbances. So I've got this little beacon here. It's the same beacon we use for quests. This is only just to show where it is. As we approach this beacon, there's going to be an area around it where the compass and map get increasingly less useful. So as I walk forward, you're gonna see some static pop up on the compass. Uh, sorry, on the mini map, and the compass starts to wobble around. And it's also set up for the world map. And as I move closer and closer, I lose more and more information. Now, this is configurable to just affect the compass, or just the compass and the mini map, or just the world map, however you want to do it. The amount that you get here is obviously also configurable, and the range for both the full effect and the partial effect are configurable. And as you move out of it, it goes away. So that's a cool little one I've added. Um, the next one I've added is uh, dynamic markers. So there's been a consistent question people have had, which is how can I get vehicles to show up on the map and compass? How can I get campfires I place to show up on the compass and map? And there's not really been a good system for that. Um, I've been coaching people through you utilizing other systems like the teammates and all that sort of thing instead but that's not really ideal so i've added a system of dynamic markers and so what that allows me to do is if i jump into the example test actor i've got here i've just added this dynamic marker component so you can add this to any actor in your world that you're going to spawn or place or whatever and that allows you to set settings specifically just to have a marker for this one so you can have it only show up on the compass or only on the world map or only on the mini map or however you want it to work um, you can use a material to set its marker uh, icon so you can have more eye-catching um, icons all that sort of thing so if we jump back in here this is tied to the G key in the demo if you press G we now have a crate spawn and that crate is now just going to be there no matter what we do like on the icons and it's on the mini map and it's also on the world map so this is sort of like a hero actor so the best example i can think of is if you've played no man's sky the spaceship you get once you've got that ship that is always available on your compass you can see it even if you're on the opposite side of the planet that you're on it will show you that so that would be a good example of this but as i said vehicles campfires all that sort of thing are other ones as well i think that is everything that is added Yep, it is. As I said, there are some um, bug fixes. There is also a couple of small changes. All of that will be covered in the written version of this. Link to that is in the description below, and this should be available in the next couple of days. Thank you very much for watching.